Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is future Nate, although you may not have known. Um, back in March of this year, 2024, as I was transitioning out of my role at Universal Orlando um, and on my way to go work for Raglan Road, where I'm at now, um, decided to utilize my employee discount and do a little staycation at the Cabana Bay Hotel. And so that's what this video is. It's um, it's probably going to be a pretty short video. Uh, I tried to film what I could while we were there, but we were also trying to have a good time and, like I said, turn it into like a little staycation. So what you guys will see, and we'll, we'll start the tape. This is the lobby, a uh, beautiful lobby they have over at Cabana Bay large windows on both sides lets out lets in a lot of sunlight which is really nice sometimes they'll have meet and greets in here i've actually seen the minions characters in the lobby before uh doing photo ops the bay liner um their eatery area their grab and go so they do have some make-to-order foods, burgers, and pastas, and, and a few things, but a lot of it are in just in these refrigerators or on the shelves, which I think is great. Um, I think primarily the people who stay here are going to Volcano Bay anyhow, so they're going to or from the water parks. So having something that you can grab and take with you, I think, is an advantage. They do have fire pits here, so hence the s'mores kits, which I think is also a great idea. They have these mugs that work on all the uh, freestyle machines. But having said that, uh, I'm gonna now turn it over and show you guys what we filmed for our quick staycation at Cabana Bay. Everybody got a hot grill, some burgers and chicken sandwiches and hot dogs. And then they have like, they call it International Eats. And then they have like a pizza area. And then a salad bar. Pizza looks pretty popular as usual. And then they have a sandwich place. And then it's like lots of grab and go foods. Ooh, they got some frozen yogurt. Cereals and drinks and yeah, I think quite a few things here. I can see being able to stay here a few nights and have like a wide selection of things. Yeah, toast and chips, nuts, and then uh, several checkout lines, and then you can be on your way. And here's our standard room. It's like little closets. Extra pillow and maybe blanket. Restroom, vanity, toilet, shower, tub. Nice. I like the colors in the 1950s style. I thought this was a window too, but it's a post. Oh. The beds and the walls. Nice and bright in here. It's not a huge room, but... Okay, but there's a volcano! Yeah, that's cool. So we got a view of the volcano. I guess this is our park view. We were supposed to be a couple of floors higher, but this will do, I guess. And you can I don't see quite know what happened, but it changed. You can see the first wheel. Uh, I drive? Yeah. The Orlando Eye, which is now its official name again, because it just got bought by Merlin Industries. Anyway, right, well, there's people down there, and there's part of the lazy river in the pool, and we'll make our way down there in a bit. But this is our room. Fridge? Yeah, fridge and some drawers, little coffee maker, small table, ice bucket, kind of the standard stuff, but it's nice. And then we did pick up some snacks. Mars got some spaghetti meatball, and I got 
I got a Kentucky sandwich and fries, so we're gonna get some food before we explore the rest of the hotel. Here's a very quick look at our receipt for the food. Uh, basically, both meals were about twelve fifty, twelve seventy five. Um, then the water, and then a uh, small ten percent discount I got as an employee. Here's a look outside the hotel from our floor. We're kind of like in the elevator lobby area, if you will. Some fun posters around, all fit the theming. It's cool kind of Sputnik light at the top. It's very retro wall, very bright orange wall there. And then our elevators. And as you can see, we're on the third floor. Cool view though. So that's where we parked in the garage. And we'll path this way to the Americana Tower. And our room is somewhere here on the other side, basically, on the third floor. And you go right there to go in the Volcano Bay. Uh, yeah, right over there, if you see the hut, kind of top there, the roof, that's the entrance to Volcano Bay. So not too bad. All right, so this is uh, out by the pool area. It's one of the outdoor bars they have, <laughs> is Mars. Uh, and then kind of a look back towards our tower, which was the Americana. It's a real nice pool area, very clean, very spread out. Um, you can see the palm trees, but let's face it, they don't provide a lot of shade. This was later in the day, so things were cooler and there was definitely uh, a lot of shade at this point. But I think that's something to note. If you guys are coming out here in the middle of the day, it's going to be quite warm. Here's a look at their menu. Sorry for kind of the quick video. You can, uh, you'll have to go back and pause it, but, um, pr prices were, you know, kind of standard and I view these kind of eateries as same as I would like a movie theater. <laughs> uh, food's not like super great, but it's convenient. And if you're spending the day by the pool, it'll more than do. I would say more, more than not people are there for the bar anyways. There are restrooms out here, which is extremely convenient. There's also a place that looked like to rent rafts for the lazy river. The river was nice. We did get in it and float around a bit. That was pretty cool. Enjoyed that. Another look as the sun was setting over the buildings. Very pretty. I like the color scheme here too. And once again, our tower. The weather was real nice. This is uh, middle end of March. Um, so, you know, not quite summer yet, but I, I want to say it's probably in the 70s, but warm enough to jump in the pool. Now we're back in our room. Uh, the view from our room here. We did not go to Volcano Bay, by the way. So this video is strictly Cabana Bay. The whole point was just to, again, utilize my discount, but also um, feel like we kind of went somewhere, you know. Uh, again, a little staycation just to get out. We went to the Swizzle Bar, which was great. I believe I ended up getting um, the Swizzle Rum Punch. I don't remember what Mars got. And, and who knows, we, maybe we got the same thing, I don't remember. But this was cool. This is in the lobby, by the way, so... Swizzle Lounge, and here's, I think this is my drink, looks like a rum punch. And then uh, shortly after we went outside, fire pits were going, that's where you could do the s'mores. This is the other side by the way, so this is actually a different pool, different pool bar. Um, this resort is quite sprawling, um, it's gorgeous. Those folks are going up to slide down the slide, so this pool has a slide. There's a hot tub, but as you can see, it was closed for some reason. Not sure why. Starlight is one of the other towers. But pretty cool place. We, we definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, it keeps the theme for sure. Some restrooms and the fitness room. Yo, 
have to make the reservation. Yeah, and they were booked. I looked it up. But you can still eat food. Yeah, I guess they have food here. Oh, uh, that's probably why then they, they have limited planes. Yeah. It's just that. Yeah. There's some fitness stuff. Oh, bowling stuff. Never mind. Bowling stuff. <laughs> Another fun little bowling pin drink spears. The Jack Lane Physical Fitness Studio. And an ATM. And then some restrooms. So we can do all the all the exercising we want. Yep. Jack Lane. It's only a few people in there. And it's open five to ten. This is gonna be the lobby over here. Yeah, there is a bar. It goes into the bowling alley. Giant bumblebee thing. Lots of candy. I just seen Slugworth over here. <laughs> I spotted that guy. There he goes, Slugworth. Prices. Oh. All right, here you go. Here's the prices. It does not give you change. Goodness, that's a lot. So, 25 bucks gives you 100 credits. Four credits per dollar. Jeez, and this gives you a so this gives you a bonus ten credits if you buy this. Daily special, and now when you get the best one. Yeah, for two hundred freaking bucks. Hell of money. Past the arcade is the dining room over here. Huh? Nice big dining room. I like it. Cool retro theme. And they're playing just random old clips of shows, commercials, whatever. I don't even know if they're real, like authentic from the era or if they were made just for this dining room, but still cool. This is a rec center, so that's kind of neat. You can host different events here. And you can see it's pretty big. So it's like a banquet hall type thing. Yeah. But some, some seating, I guess someone left everything. Their cups, the candy bar, everything. And then some more seats. And then some more of the dining hall. Pretty cool. And there's uh, freestyle machines just over there for soda and uh, coffee and other things which you purchase right below us in the uh, the little shop there. That's cool. Look at that 
cloth. Oh, yeah. Kind of a cool clock back there. Yeah, we haven't been over there yet. There's a milkshake bar over here. All right, now we're downstairs. Room's nice and bright. The tall ceilings make it feel welcoming. I can imagine even when it's packed in here, it feels pretty comfortable. See the videos playing. Yeah, Tupperware, that's awesome. Tupperware is headquartered here in Central Florida. Fun fact. And the mural is pretty cool. I just like it. Definitely vacationers but here's the freestyle machines that I was telling you about and some of the other coffees and stuff but here is the shake shop all right so here's a little look at the menu here they had a nice range of things from ice cream to milkshakes and uh, yeah smoothies and splits sundaes that kind of stuff the line here was quite long. In fact, I think it was the longest line we had during our stay. It was probably close to 30 minutes. Um, having said that though, if you love ice cream, this was the place to be. It was fantastic. Absolutely delicious and certainly worth the 30 minute wait. This looks amazing. She did a great job. Look at that. Two scoops on a waffle cone. Banana and strawberry. Mars with her ice cream. She got ube and peanut butter. Peanut butter. That's right. It's pretty crazy. Woo! That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, and they did a good job. Look again. Here's mine. They're they did really nice, big. consistent. Yeah, these are really like solid scoops of ice cream here. This cost us what twenty bucks basically. I forget the There's exact like amount. Eight, nine, eight. A90 for two scoops. Yeah. So anyway, we are going to enjoy these and we'll be back with you in a minute. All right, there's the volcano. It is the next morning. We've been up for a few hours already, but um, people have been in the pool since like seven. Pretty early using the lazy river and whatnot we're packing up getting ready to go but we had a nice stay it's a quick one-nighter but we had a good time look at my hair yeah, that's crazy hair but um we're actually getting ready to go pick up uh, our friend at the airport so we're gonna end this one i know it was a shorter video but i hope you guys enjoyed watching and um we'll catch you next time bye bye